morning guys, uh, afternoon, whatever, Friday, um, so you might be getting this on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, but um, whenever you are getting this then I um, hope you're okay, uh, needless to say it's a lovely sunny day so I thought today I would work out in the garden um, because I can, um, I hope hopefully, I hope you can as well, enjoy the weather while you can. So you have your graph paper, okay, remember? So what I'd like you to do with your graph paper, I mentioned before, A4 is 210 centimeters by millimeters, no, not centimeters, 210 by 297, et voila. So what I'd like you to do is, what we're gonna to do today is do a border using the Celtic knot design. So I've marked here, so come, you can come five or six, but I'm, what I've done is come four down and put an X there and then count 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 20. And go 20 across. That should just be, you can come one in because that's 210. So put your X there and then the X there and sharp pencil ruler and if you've got one a rubber you'll need a little rubber later on so just draw in a heavier line i always go along and then put them along there so they join likewise here put the pencil there the point there up and down it's a good way of doing it It ensures the paper doesn't move around too much. So here you have what's going to be the border of your final picture. So what I'd like you to do is put little circles in the middle. Try and be as accurately as possible in the middle I'll go a bit quicker take as long as you want on this I'm not going to go the whole way around on the border because it will take too long for the video but um, so just do this two in And then all the way along. If you just want to do dots, that's fine. But little circles are better. And I'll show you why. But dots are fine. Now, I'd also like you to do dots, circles. In the bits where the lines cross. Okay, so all the way around, just do little dots. Okay. So if you want to pause the video and get on with that, don't you pause the video Rufus, sorry that's for the uh, students. Um, oh, also do them here. So all the way around.
So what I'm going to do is one strip down here. If you did the Celtic knot design and you made a good job of it, you should make a really good job of this. And it's interesting how you can use graphics to actually produce different results. That's five minutes, thanks for everything. So this corner bit, let's work on that one first. Okay, so here we have the corner bit. Um, like you do with the Celtic knot, just do the lines. Okay, so if you do those lines going across like that, then that has to be like that. That has to be like that. So that would come round like that okay so it's a pencil you can rub it out if you make a mistake at this point that's fine rub it out if you do it in pen different manner so there we have that and this part will go across like that There you have your corner part, and that bit will go round like that. So you can just do a little, that bit will go round like that. So go all the way along. minutes. Gosh, doesn't time fly when you're having fun. So, if you can see what's happening, all these bits should go across like this. But make sure you always do the interlapping bits like that. These bits will go under, so you have a continuous loop. Going round. All these bits will go on line like that. Dad, you can't go further than 10 minutes. Okay, so give that a go. So that's one corner done, and all you've got to do is keep on going. Okay, give it a go, and go all the way around. Um, you spent quite a lot of time doing this, well hopefully, just doing the grid system, half an hour maybe. This might take a bit longer. Um, use your pencil, use your rubber, use light lines, and then Over. Go over pen. Okay, give it a go. Um, email me back your results and have a good weekend.